Hello, Leo. Sun, moon, rising. Any placement of Leo. This is going to be your reading for July 1st through July 15th, 2022. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. We are building to the super full moon on July 13th. We'll be in the sign of Capricorn. Okay, it's the biggest super full moon of the entire year. Also, the link below to my website, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. Doesn't matter where you live, I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. All the information is on the website and you can also take advantage of a 15% discount off your very first session with me. Okay, let's get you an overall energy, Leo. Ooh, interesting. You've got the wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. This to me is a message that something's going to happen that kind of wakes you up, snaps you out of it, a little bit of a tap on the shoulder from the universe. And if you're not paying attention and you're not listening to the messages and the whispers, um, it may need to sting a little bit. So the universe may step up a little bit more to get your attention about something, Leo. Okay, so sometimes life stings. What is it that maybe you've been putting off or not paying attention to or hoping that something, you know, cleans itself up and that you don't have to actually mess with it? Because uh, I feel like that is what this message is kind of linked into, okay? But let's see what else you've got. Leo, July 1st through the 15th. All right, second row is your specific person. Those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about them? Third row is any clarifying messages. All right, Leo, first up, we've got Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, and Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords has been coming out in almost every reading. So there is definitely an overall theme of things ending, but, <clears throat> excuse me, specifically things ending that leave you feeling underappreciated, taken advantage of, any dishonesty, Anywhere you might feel stabbed in the back or, like I said, taken advantage of, that's what's ending and that's what's being released. So um, any friendships, you know, work situations, family dynamics, romantic partners that leave you feeling that way is really being cleaned up here with the Ten of Swords. And there is going to be movement here. So I'm also seeing with the Three of Cups for you that time with your friends and your social circle is going to be very, very important for you during this time. You're going to have a lot of communication and a lot of messages with your friends, with your close circle, and with those who you can count on and rely on. <coughs> Excuse me. So be mindful of that. You know, with the Ten of Swords, you may be losing one or two friends or a person in your life that you thought was really important, and they've been actually taking from your energy or causing you more issues than you are aware of. That could be what the sting is because of course it's still hurtful, but what you're gonna see through that process is the actual dedication and commitment from those who really do love you and care about you are gonna step up and be there for you. So I'm just seeing a really strong sense of community for you, Leo, in these next couple weeks. That's gonna be like very, very highlighted for you, which I think is really beautiful. Um, so you could be dealing with uh, another fire sign, so maybe another Leo, if not a Sagittarius or an Aries. And I've also got water, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer out here for you. Okay, your specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person, we've got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Your specific person, Leo, looks confused about what they want and what they feel. So they are going back and forth between page energy and knight of wands energy. So it's like their offer is kind of small and there for you. And then with the knight of wands, it's hot and cold on and off, in and out. And there's too much focus on the past and what has already happened. So um, I'm just interpreting this as a message for you that your specific person is not clear enough about how amazing you are and what you deserve 
and they are willing to give the bare minimum, okay? Which is not what you deserve, Leo. You deserve somebody's full love, attention, and devotion, and that's what you have to offer. So I feel like with your specific person, what is being shown here, those of you that have somebody who you're kind of waiting for, you're kind of hoping they'll step up, or you're kind of hoping that they're gonna see how amazing you are, that is the type of energy that is actually draining you, Leo, and it's taking from you. And that also can be what can cause a bit of a sting. So with the Five of Cups, it's asking for a change in perspective. You know, you're wanting a, you know, connection that is solid and reliable and somebody who can show up for you. And this Page of Wands and Knight of Wands is not showing that they are capable of that. Um, which can be very disappointing. So again, for those of you dealing maybe with another fire sign here, another Leo or Sagittarius or an Aries, um, your specific person is just a little bit in and out, hot and cold, up and down, left and right, want you, don't want you, etc. And that's very confusing for you. So with that Leo, um, I'm seeing you maybe changing your perspective. Maybe the connection isn't what you thought it was or what you had hoped that it would be and the universe is asking you to really recognize that and to let go of any connections that don't see your value and don't see your worth and to really step up with that okay last up we've got the devil six of swords and eight of cups so again leo here a lot of energy around letting go of people and things that just aren't in alignment with you and I really just want to validate you and see you with the effort and the energy that you do give to your relationships and that you do give to those around you. It's amazing. Um, unfortunately, it's not always received as well and it's not always reciprocated. And that's what is showing up here for you, Leo. So I feel like the universe is giving you a big clean out of people, things, and situations that just aren't in alignment with you anymore and they are not fulfilling for you anymore. So some of these dynamics or relationships may have been fulfilling for you at some point, um, but something has changed and the change is what's being highlighted here. So you walking away from things and people that are no longer fulfilling for you is a really courageous and a really powerful step, Leo. And I've just seen this full moon up here. So in this eight of cups is the last card out here. So a lot of powerful energy around that super full moon in Capricorn. We also have the devil energy, which is the Capricorn card. So that full moon is gonna give you the extra push to do what needs to be done, to walk away, to leave rough waters, to move towards smoother waters in all of your relationships and all of your connections. That's really what I'm seeing for you. Um, and on the other side of that is a clean slate, is the relationships that are supposed to stay, that are supposed to be in your life. Remember, you're gonna be amazed at how many um, people do show up for you and are there for you in a challenging time. So be open to that. That's kind of the silver lining and the beautiful miracle in all of this. So again, we've got, let's see, we've got strong Capricorn energy, strong water, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Could be another Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries. Those are kind of the main, the main ones out here for you. Okay, let's see. Any other messages for you? All right, Leo, you've got the meditation card. So this is always speaking about quieting the mind, tuning out the thoughts, and just connecting in with the self, with the soul, with the higher knowing, the wisdom. I'm also just noticing this character is alone in nature. So um, they've removed themselves to give themselves that quiet reflection and amidst some of these changes happening for you, this can be a really powerful time for you to connect within, to have that clarity come in, um, and to just really trust the process. So meditation might be very important for you, Leo, in these next couple of weeks while you navigate any changes or shifts in relationships and to really trust that process. Okay, let's get you one last spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up the reading. I kind of like
like this for you. You've got the unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Leo, this is what you're doing. You are abandoning the darkness. You are listening to the spirits of light. You are moving into your wisdom. And for that, you know, things around you need to shift and release. So infinite possibilities. You know, when you let one person go or one friendship or something, it's never fun. It is painful, but that opens up for somebody new to come into your life. That is more in alignment with you. So the infinite possibilities, there's an endless number of people and support that are available to you, Leo. Don't forget that. I hope these messages resonate with you. Um, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Leo. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. They really do make a difference. And if you miss the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It doesn't matter where you live. I've been a full-time master healer for clients all over the world um, since uh, 2017, so over four years now. Um, the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. So uh, the testimonials, you can read about the benefits, as well as you'll see a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Leo, I'm wishing you a beautiful start to July. Hang in there. I'm sending you lots of love, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of July readings. Take care.